Hello you guys, good morning. It's me Jackie, welcome back to another vlog. Today, it is a very exciting day. It's actually my college graduation day, which is so weird to finally say. Vlogging my experience from freshman year to now has been such a great just like way to keep all my memories in one place and look back at them in the future. And I can't believe that four years later from like vlogging my first day of freshman year, I'm now here and about to graduate from college. Even just like four years ago vlogging my experience graduating high school, like I can't believe time has sped by like that and we're here. Anyways, today it is Friday, May 24th, currently 9 a.m. It's bright and early, even though I don't my ceremony until like 6 30 tonight i've got a couple things that i want to do so i definitely want to like make the most out of my time plans on kind of like the agenda today i want to eat breakfast head over to the gym which i did not think i was going to do today but low-key i feel like i have enough time to like get in a little cardio sesh so i think i want to go do that come back get fully ready and then actually head over to lunch with my parents and some of my family at two and after that come back have a little like second to like kind of relax and then get fully dressed and ready to go to my ceremony so i was very excited but also very nervous but i'm gonna try to take a chill pill today I'm gonna try to like go relax into it because i know how like i get when it comes to like major events i get stressed this is what i'm wearing at the moment like i said i want to go to the gym so i wanted to wear one of my favorite little sets to kind of like commemorate the great day that's going to be ahead this is just a little pink set here from pink super cutie and i'm gonna pair that with these new shoes that i actually got for the gym because i've been really focusing on cardio when i've gone so i got these from marshall's they're super cute they're white and they're just sketchers sketch lace shoes i don't know i'm gonna put those on and then we're gonna make some little brekkie i think i want to make like a little smoothie bowl and then we're gonna head over to the gym showered up and I'm feeling super clean and ready to start getting ready for the rest of the day. I changed into this cutie little loungy PJ set from Pink. It's like the prettiest little heather gray color with the softest material ever. And then I put on this delicious mango body butter from Pink. As a lover of mangoes, mango scented things, this literally smells like dessert on my body and I'm so in love with this. But now I'm gonna go ahead and start doing a little bit of skincare since obviously I sweated that off at the gym and I want my skin to be like all refreshed for makeup later after I do my hair. So first up, I'm gonna go in with my Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. It's just so like gentle on the skin. And then before I go into like the rest of my morning skincare routine, I'm actually gonna use a little eye mask to pamper myself. Two days ago, I used like a full face mask and then some foot mask so that my feet wouldn't be dry, especially because I'm wearing heels. Today, just to like depuff my eyes a little bit and then also just like brighten them up. I'm gonna use this one here from Loops. I got this from my friend Lexi for my birthday and I've been so excited to try this brand out. So I think today's finally the day we're gonna try it. All right, there we have one. The second one. Oh my god, that feels so nice. I'm gonna have this on for 10 minutes. Hey Siri, set a 10 minute uh -huh. timer. 10 minutes starting now. And while these like kind of soak into my skin, I'm gonna get started on my hair just cause I have no time to waste right now. Literally after I got back from the gym, I started filming some TikTok transitions, like the first part. Um, just so that I wouldn't have to worry about it later. If you've seen any other of my videos where I'm getting ready, you already know, but to curl it, I'm gonna use this beach waver in like the prettiest pink color. Honestly, I don't really use it as like it's intended to be used with like the buttons and everything. I kind of just use like a wand because I feel like I like those curls a little bit better. Let's get to work. For heat protectant, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Paris Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. I'm not straightening my hair, but this still works wonders at like protecting it from the heat. I'm gonna spray some in there. I'm gonna split my hair into two sections and then grab little sections and just start curling them. I also love how fast Beach Waver heats up. I think that's why I also love just like curling my hair with it. In general, just highly recommend the Beach Waver. I know they're always having like little sales on TikTok shop. Here we have a curl and I'm just gonna go around the rest of my head and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and just like pause right here just cause I feel like this is a repetitive process and I don't wanna bore you guys. So I'll catch up with you guys when I'm doing my makeup and we're all set 
flat down and everything. Just to know, after like I'm done curling my hair so that it's not frizzy, I'm gonna be using the Olaplex number seven bonding oil. I'll catch up with you guys. We're sitting down in my room. Hair is all done. Besides like the little two front pieces, just cause I'm gonna use my thicker curling iron to like curl those after like my hair is set and I've done my makeup and I'm ready to go. Starting off with primer. I never really use this besides like super special occasions. And of course my college graduation day, I'm gonna use this. This is the Milk Hydro Group Set and Refresh Spray. It's currently noon and I need this makeup to last all the way until nighttime when we go out. At our local college bar, they have like a grad weekend Thursday through Saturday or something. But we're just gonna go out tonight to celebrate our graduation, Kat and I's, and then also Brenna because she graduated yesterday. So we're gonna go out on the town, super excited, just to like commemorate maybe one last time being at a college bar because who knows, maybe we're gonna go back. And so I need my makeup to last from now until then, probably till like 12, 1 a.m. The primer is set. And now I'm gonna go in with my skin tints from Glossier shade G9. I love this stuff. It's like sheer while also evening out my skin tone. First and foremost, I do want to apologize for not being super active on this channel, especially during my last semester of senior year. Similar to last semester, I think work just caught up to me. And even though I was just like focusing solely on my internship this time around, I was last semester having my internship and a job. My internship has been four out of five days of the week so from like nine to two i'm just doing like work which as soon as i get in my head and i felt like it wasn't super exciting to record so that's why i didn't but you know what? at least i have those two vlogs at the beginning of the semester to kind of look back on for this last semester of senior year low-key i feel like it wasn't super crazy like eventful and like opposed to like senior year in high school there's not too many like end of year events or anything besides like obviously graduation and the things before that like graduation pictures and it's like actually a couple days ago on wednesday i had like a little little senior sunrise at our college bar and it was fun it was just a little bit weird like being in the bar vibe in the bar atmosphere at 7 30 in the morning they had bottomless mimosas breakfast burritos like music that they would play at nighttime playing during the daytime i hope that the college bar continues to do that for years because i feel like it's a super fun little experience for us seniors to like wrap up our last little time as college students you know what i mean definitely got a little too happy at that i will say but you know what yolo at least i went hard on wednesday because i'm not planning to go too hard tonight grad parties already start tomorrow so we've got a lot ahead of us but i'm excited for this busy little summer season on sunday i have a cat's grad party and then next week is actually my last little week of working my internship before i have a little break before starting my full-time job which i'll talk about in a second after i kind of get through these like summer plans i guess and then it's my boyfriend's birthday next thursday so we're gonna do a little celebration for him in his college town with his friends and everything well our friends i told him i'm like your friends are technically my friends so it's our friends um but we're gonna go celebrate together and then on friday it's prep for my grad party next saturday so super excited about that just to celebrate with like, my family all my closest friends it'll be a fun little time and then the day after i have another little like gathering with a close friend and then actually super exciting a gender reveal for my cousin's baby which i'm so excited about so we have that going on a couple days after my grad party i'm going to cabo with my best friend sam i am so excited stay tuned for the vlog i cannot wait to record this for you guys have this experience with her and just like cherish these memories on my youtube channel for years to come so stay tuned i'm so excited it's my first time like out of the country well it's not my first time out of the country by myself because after my quince when i turned 15 my parents actually got me a ticket to go to my dad's like hometown for a week or two so i flew alone back then but i was young so i actually flew with like a flight attendant now that i'm 22 i'm flying with my bestie poo we have to worry about customs and everything ourselves so i'm nervous and then at the resort itself, we have to like check in ourselves, like do everything ourselves. It's a little scary, but this is adulthood and I'm so excited to go on this grad trip with my best friend since middle school. And then after like these little plans that I have in June and everything, I'll actually be starting my full-time job. And I've announced this both on Instagram and on my LinkedIn, but if you don't follow me on any of those, no worries. I'm gonna talk about it right now. If you guys didn't already know, I was interning for Alani Nutrition, which is basically like a beverage wellness energy company. I absolutely love their products. I was actually also an ambassador for them this school year. And overall, this ambassadorship was definitely also a gateway to the internship, which is now a gateway to something even bigger, which I could not have like 
ever dreamed of happening this soon. But I interned for them from January till now. Actually, I forgot to tell you guys what I was using. For concealer, I used the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. For bronzer, I used the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick. And then for blush, I used the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. And then actually right now, I'm also going to set my under eyes because like I said, I'm gonna have this makeup on all day. But anyways, like I was saying, I interned for Alani for a few months now. And I'm also so grateful that I vlogged my first day experience. But actually like a month and a half or so into my internship, I got a really exciting call from my manager. And she basically told me that they loved me and that they wanted to offer me a full-time position to start after I graduate college, which absolutely floored me. I was not expecting that at all, especially so early into the internship. I accepted it obviously and starting next month mid-month i will finally be an influencer marketing coordinator for congo brands which is basically like the overarching company over awani i am so excited for what's to come you guys i cannot wait to share this journey with you and there might even be some more exciting news during the summer regarding like my job and everything so definitely stay tuned on the channel i will obviously bring you guys along for that i can't wait i'm so excited that being said i guess we'll kind of talk a little bit about like post-grad life and kind of like what to expect in terms of the life that you're going to see on this channel. In terms of like my full-time job and everything, it'll actually be remote, which is super, super, super nice. I think there's definitely pros and cons to like working remotely and then working like in the office and everything. But I feel like especially with my lifestyle and like how family oriented I am and everything, this is definitely like the best way to go for me. If you didn't already know, Alani's headquarters is in Kentucky. So had it been in person, your girl probably would have been Kentucky. But since it's not, I will actually be staying here in California as long as I possibly can. I feel like I don't really see myself being anywhere else than here. The original plan was to sell my lease at the end of May, move back home for the summer and just like stay home. But after like some thinking, I realized that, you know what? It's best not to rush it. And it's best just to stay here throughout my lease and just like spend time with especially like my roommates and my friends that live here in the area. And while I don't mind moving back home and everything, just cause I love my hometown. I love the area we're in. I love my room. I am gonna miss like my friends that are here in the area. I've been so grateful to have a family that is so 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 supportive and I know if like I wanted to move out into an apartment somewhere like after college instead of moving back home they would definitely support me but knowing how much of a homebody I am and also knowing how much money I want to be saving during these like first maybe years or two of working full time I just decided it would be best for me to live at home and cherish time with my family before I move out one day and like never live with them again. You know what I mean? Oh my God, I just rambled for like 10 minutes straight. Again, I forgot to see what I was using. For face powder, I use the Urban K Stay Naked The Fix Powder. And then for like my bronzer, my blush and everything, I use the Benefit Cheek Stars Reunion Tour and I use the shades Hula and then I use the shade Sugar Bomb for my blush. Now for setting spray, I'm gonna use my Tried and True Elf Makeup Mist and Set for lunch we're actually gonna head over to bj's i'm gonna have my boyfriend my sister her boyfriend and then my parents my brother and my two grandparents there with me which i am so grateful to have all of them there and have all their support and yes we're having lunch at two but my ceremony is not until 6 30 but that's because i really stress about time especially like on important days like this so i want to give myself that buffer between like finishing lunch and also so we're not in a rush at lunch and also coming back and getting ready to head out to my ceremony so that's just me thing it's just Jackie things. Okay, and now I'm debating on if I want to put on any falsies just because I'm in a little bit of time crunch. It's a special day today. And for that, I'm going to be using these little Kiss Impress Press on Falsies. I have like two packs here because I have a couple little like stragglers in each pack. Lashes literally done like that. They're just so easy to use, which I love. Now I'm going to use the mascara so I can seal it together. I'm using the Rare Beauty mascara, of course, and then top that off with a coat of the Tartlet Tubi mascara so that it just like lengthens them a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. It just takes like a hot second. So I'm going to do this and then I'll catch up with you guys in a second. The mascara routine is done. This is what they're looking like. Super, super cute. I'm really happy that I did the lashes. Now I'm gonna go and do my lippy to just wrap up my like makeup look. 
For my lip liner, I'm gonna be using my Tried and True Refi Lip Liner in the shade Fawn. I will say though, I do wish it was a little bit of a softer formula, but the color is just like too good to pass up. Additions to the combo, I have my Cherry Chopstick. I just use this to like help blend the lip liner in a little better, and then also get like a base going for this lip oil here from e.l.f. This is the Rose Envy. I absolutely adore this. I need to get my hands on another one because I'm running out. But it's also like the perfect color on top of this lip and just like looks good even without anything under. Gorge. I literally love it so much. Okay, there we go. There's the makeup for the day. I now need to go ahead and finish up curling the front pieces of my hair. Let me do that and then I'll actually bring you guys back to my room and we'll get dressed for lunch. I think I'm gonna wear a different dress to lunch other than the one I'm wearing to graduation just because I don't want to get any food on it. But let me go ahead and do that real quick. And then catch up with you guys in literally one second. All right, hair is officially done. She's styled, she's cute, she's ready. But now let's go ahead and get dressed for lunch. I still wanna dress up a little bit so that obviously I give like grad celebration vibes, but I'm not gonna wear white. I'm gonna be wearing this dress that I've overused for so many occasions. This is my long black dress from Five Below actually. And just cause the neckline's a little bit weird, I'm also gonna put this little black bolero on from Five Below as well. It's a cute little like set combo. And then also to show that I'm like a graduate, I'm gonna be putting on one of my stoles. And I think just cause graduating from SJSU, I wanna put on my SJSU stole. I'm gonna show you guys my other stoles later just cause I have a few, but let me like show you guys through this one first. Obviously I have school colors. I actually customized this through like an online website that you can make stoles on. Thankfully my friend and roommate Kat had already made one. So I was able to like take inspo from her and basically get like the exact same one. Basically just has like both logos on each side of the stoles. And then on the left side here on top, I have first generation because I'm a first generation college student. And on the other side, it says BS advertising. It's also a tiny bit stained, I think from the event on Wednesday. I just have class of 2024 on it. So I'm gonna wear this on top of my dress. I think it'll be super cute. And then I think for shoes, I'm gonna wear the ones that I'm wearing to graduation, which are these braided heels from Dolce Vita. Let me go to put this little outfit on and then we'll accessorize. All dressed up for my graduation lunch. Also, take a look at my little like graduation section on my mirror. Isn't it so cute? Here on the left side, a little like photo booth film strip of me and best friend Sam. There's also like a leftover little tassel that I got from the cap and gown that I got from Amazon, which was clutch. So I put that right here. And on this side, I have Sam's graduation announcement and then Kat's graduation announcement. So cute. And then also right here, I actually have my grad announcement. Isn't it so cute? I'm all ready to go. But before we head out, I also want to accessorize. I think I'm going to put on these little earrings here from Forever 21, I think. I don't know. It's just like a baby hoop. And for my necklace, I'm going to do this little like pearl necklace here from Kendra Scott. I have like a minute before I'm going to head down to the lobby. So I'm going to put on this little perfume here. It smells was delicious and my mom got it for me and that is basically it i have this little purse from amazon and that's the look for lunch i'm gonna head down now but in that case i'm gonna go ahead and just meet you guys at the restaurant and get our munch on over there made it to bj's i just ended up driving myself because my sister was getting late so gotta do what you gotta do but i'm gonna head inside and tell them about my reservation and hopefully family's here soon okay and then jackie's more affectionate you could say she's like yeah like a dog so you, is that the way they call yeah. like your kiss? Him and it's like a cat. Cause she's like, okay, pet it. Oh, that's it. I'm eating. No, I don't know. He's in between. Woohoo, Jackie's graduation. What's your, what about yours? I've made chicken. A big day. Hello everyone, I'm back from lunch with my family. It was delicious. I wasn't vlogging you much cause low key I was just, a little bit stressed, but it was yummy. Thank you so much to my parents for paying for that and just like giving me that experience. But I'm back at the apartment. My sister's here. <laughs> my parents and my grandparents and my boyfriend and stuff are in the living room, but I'm gonna go to get ready for the ceremony. Like I said, I'm not gonna wear this. So I'm gonna change into the dress I'm gonna be wearing. And for that, I'm gonna be wearing this cutie little dress that I actually showed you guys in my photos earlier. It's this white one right here from Macy's. It's super cute. It has little like flowers all over the neckline. And then obviously put the rest of my stuff over top just to be ready to go. So I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll show you guys like my stoles and everything. The dress is on. She's so cute. I'll show you guys like the full look in the mirror and everything once I'm fully decked out But let me show you guys like the rest of my stoles and everything once I put on my gown I'm also so happy that like my gown is just black. Here is the gown. Let's Deck her out a little. Maybe I'll put the longest one on the bottom. So we're gonna put on 
my Mexican one with like the little sarape. I think it's so pretty. I love these flowers on it. Here's this one. The next up I have this one right here. It's just white and orange. And this was from when I interned at like the DBH agency on campus. I did that last year, my junior year, but I still got a stole. So we're gonna put this one over that. Over top of that, we're gonna put on my Bumble Honey one. I was a Bumble Honey my junior and my senior year. So it's been an amazing two years and I'm so excited to go out with the bang with them. And then my last other like little personal one I got here is my pink campus reps. Stole, I was a pink campus rep my sophomore, my junior year. So very like memorative time of my college years. And then lastly, of course, the one I was already wearing to lunch, I have my SJSU stole that I already showed you guys earlier. Last little touches, I got this cord right here. It's just like a blue and yellow one um, for when I was an RA. And then lastly, I did get summa cum laude, which is so exciting. I'm gonna wear that at the ceremony. Lastly, to top everything off, of course, I have my cap in the tassel. Each college has like a different colored tassel. I'm the College of Humanities and the Arts, so we have a white one, which matches everything, which is perfect. Um, so here we go. So let me show you guys in the mirror. Voila! How does this make you feel? Emotional, but nice. I don't have to buy a gown anymore. <laughs> okay, let me go show this to my parents, my grandparents, stuff. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Everyone's uh, got one. So right that you guys stay up there, but I'm back home from graduation or back in my apartment. Oh my god, like it just it feels so surreal to officially be completely done with everything. I truly like have not been able to soak it in. I feel like maybe tonight it'll hit a little bit more. Um, so she goes, we're gonna go out for like maybe one last time at our college bar. Overall, I'm so 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 grateful for my experience at SJSU. It's definitely been a wild ride from COVID to moving off campus to being an RA to now getting to live in a college apartment that I'm so grateful for with such amazing roommates. I am absolutely so like grateful for this experience and grateful to also have been able to like create these memories on this YouTube channel for you guys to see over the last four years. So I'm done. Now I'm gonna go and start to get ready to head out for the night. It's currently 9, 11 and originally the plan was to maybe go out at like 10, 30, but actually the bar has like been getting packed by the time it's 10 p.m. So we wanna head over there as soon as possible. Time to get dressed because I'm definitely not gonna wear this beautiful dress.
dress out. I'm gonna save this for my grad party. In terms of outfit, I think I'm gonna go super casual because it's our college bar in general. It's a really casual vibe. I'm gonna do, I think, this little black top here from Garage. And then I've got this pair of jeans here from Hollister. I'm gonna put these on and then show you guys my finished look before we head out for the night. So I'm gonna chat with you guys a little bit. I changed and I'm all ready to head out. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. Here's the fit. And then of course I'm gonna take my little purse with me. What are you wearing? Shirt, jeans, pants. <laughs> We're gonna head out. Hi, Brenna. Are you ready? That's fine. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whose those are. Those are oh, what? that's mine. Oh. Ready, Kaipu? No. <laughs> no, that's mine. Wait, this is yours. <laughs> 